In this video we look at disaccharides and polysaccharides. So we'll start with disaccharides. Here we have two molecules of alpha glucose and they react together in a condensation reaction with the OH from one molecule of glucose and the H from another molecule of glucose reacting together to release a molecule of water and this is known as a condensation reaction. The link between these two molecules of glucose is called an alpha 1,4 glycosidic link or an alpha 1,4 linkage. This is carbon number one and this is carbon number four. So the bond is between carbon number one and carbon number four. Hence it's called an alpha 1,4 glycosidic link. So disaccharides are formed by joining two monosaccharides in a condensation reaction, releasing a molecule of water. The bond between the monosaccharide molecules is called an alpha 1,4 glycosidic link or an alpha 1,4 linkage. And two alpha glucose molecules will react to form maltose. So here we have two more examples of disaccharides. We have lactose, which is formed from beta galactose, which is on the left here, and alpha glucose, which is on the right. And we have sucrose, which is formed from alpha glucose on the left and beta fructose on the right, which is a five carbon sugar. Next, we look at polysaccharides. Polysaccharides are polymers of monosaccharides. They are insoluble in water, so they make good energy storage molecules. The three common glucose-based polysaccharides are starch, glycogen, and cellulose. So we'll start by looking at the structure of starch. Starch is a polymer of alpha glucose and is used in plants for energy storage. It is also found in foods such as bread and potatoes. Starch is a mixture of two polysaccharides, amylose and amylopectin. Amylose has alpha 1,4 glycosidic links and amylopectin has alpha 1,4 and alpha 1,6 glycosidic links. Here we can compare the structures of amylose at the top and amylopectin at the bottom. Amylose is a straight chain polymer because it has those alpha 1,4 glycosidic links. Amylopectin on the other hand is a branched chain polymer because it has those 1,4 alpha glycosidic links and also it has these 1,6 alpha glycosidic links which makes it a branched polymer. Next we look at glycogen. Glycogen is a polymer of alpha glucose. It is the main energy storage carbohydrate in animals and found in the liver and the muscles. Glycogen has a similar branched structure to amylopectin but with many more branches. Next we look at cellulose. Cellulose is a polymer of beta glucose and is the main structural material in plants. Cellulose is a linear polymer with beta 1,4 glycosidic links. Its ability to form hydrogen bonds with other cellulose molecules gives wood its rigid structure. 